In this video, I'll show you how to install the USB typewriter kit on any Remington portable that has round keys. For example, this typewriter, or this one, or this one. Unfortunately, the kit won't work on Remington noiseless typewriters, which, as you can see, have doorknob-shaped chrome covers on the ribbons. It also won't work on Remington desktop typewriters like this one. And it also won't work on Remingtons with square plastic keys. There is, however, a kit available for Remington Quiet Writer typewriters like this one, but that kit is discussed in a different video. Before installing the kit, there are one or two pieces that are going to get in the way of our installation, and so we're going to move them. First, we're going to bend this piece that supports the shift bar, and then unscrew it. You'll notice that there's a spring attached to it that connects to the space bar. And our goal here is to fish this piece through underneath the bar it's attached to so that it faces in the opposite direction. That way, this spring will not interfere with the movement of our electronics. Once the piece has been attached in the opposite direction, you see there's still a piece that's going to stick out and interfere with where we want to put our electronics. So we're going to either bend that completely out of the way or bend it so far that it just snaps off. Next, we're going to remove a support piece that doesn't really have much of a function. Once we bend this back and forth a few times, it should snap off or we can cut it properly with a Dremel tool. Next, we're going to install the sensor circuitry onto the crossbar. Slide it underneath the crossbar and then take the bracket that came with your kit and fish it underneath. This should provide pressure that will hold the contacts in place as you do the next step. Before proceeding, make sure that each of the contacts is lined up pretty well with each of the teeth that's on the crossbar. Also make sure that the contacts are flush against the crossbar. Now add a thin bead of glue in between the circuit board and the crossbar, and then lift the circuit board up. Now it should make something like a 45 degree angle. Hold the circuit board in this position for a minute or two until the glue sets. Next, add a thick bead of hot glue in the space between the contacts and the crossbar. It doesn't look like I'm adding a lot of hot glue here, but I actually am. As the glue is setting, use your fingers to gently press the contacts against the crossbar just to make sure that they remain flush. Next, use your fingers to fold any excess over the circuit board. Take a moment to double check that each key is correctly lined up with each contact. If you're not happy with how everything lines up, you can gently push the crossbar to the left or the right with a screwdriver. Next, we're going to increase the distance you have to press each key down before it comes into contact with the crossbar. That will set the sensitivity of your electronics. As you can see, there's a little tab underneath the typewriter. Just bending that tab very slightly will change the distance between the keys and the contacts. Next, take the four rubber feet that were included with your kit and add them to each of the white dots on the back of the control panel. Once you've stuck the feet on, Add a little bit of hot glue to the back of the control panel. Before the glue has had a chance to set, place the control panel on the left rear side of the typewriter. Take the cable that leads to the other circuit board and attach it to the connector on the control panel. It should click into place. The next step is to remove the screw shown here. Once you've removed it, take a nail file or some sandpaper and scratch away any paint or dirt that might be covering up the electrically conductive metal underneath. Now screw in the green wire. The other end of the green wire should be stripped and then inserted into the hole marked C on the side of the control panel. Tighten the screw to lock it into place. 
Now, depending on what model of typewriter you have, there might not be enough clearance underneath so that the electronics will hit the table every time you hit a key. So if that's the case, you might need to go and put some rubber bumpers on each corner of the typewriter. Now that you've installed both circuit boards, there's only one or two things left for you to do. You'll have to install sensors for the space bar and for the shift key. But once you've done that, you'll have your own USB typewriter. Good luck, and thanks for supporting my project.